Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. And so today is like really clean up Sunday. Oh, look, I, you know what, y'all? My, my vacuum cleaner, for some reason, all the dirt was coming through here and it was not staying in here. So I went and I cleaned it out and I, I think this wasn't secure, this, the cup part. So I secured it and I looked just now because I just vacuumed and I see that the dirt is going in. It's so nice to be able to fix your own stuff. And also, I uh, I don't know what else I did. I can't remember what I was going to say. But what we about to do now is, so yes, yeah, today's my cleanup day. So I was thinking about like my, my idea about my home and like what I want to express. I want when you step into each room, that each room feels like a new experience. So yesterday, a uh, wonderful joy told me about, if y'all remember, y'all should check it out. It was a great link to a place called Swahili Modern. They have the greatest stuff. I ordered the towel holder for the bathroom. So uh, with an indinkra symbol, yes. Oh my gosh. And uh, so the towel holder will be there and the toilet paper holder, which will actually not be here. The towel, the, the toilet paper holder will be here. It's an indinkra symbol. And then the towel one will be here because this wall in the bathroom, remember, is gonna be the graphic, um, the graphic shower curtain, and this is gonna be a painting. But when you walk in here, because it is very dark, and then you know what? I saw for the longest time, this elephant, it was from Thailand, and they sell it at Ross. And it kept going on sale. Nobody was buying it. And I think I saw it still there last time. It's very tall, thin, but it's all like this blue with that in that like, well, that Asian feel with like the mirrors in it. And I hope they have two because I just thought those, and they were, it was pretty long. They would go perfect in this little small space. So I really want that like that. I want you to feel like, like you are having a freaking experience every time you walk in one of my rooms. So that's the idea. That's what I want to do. I didn't take back, back, back the paint yet, but I will. But I wanted to show you all how, you know how we get a little bored in our house. And so we, we want to switch things up. So I want to show you how uh, switching things up uh, is easy to do. And you could actually just use what's kind of already in your space. So these, this is a mud cloth, and that's also a mud cloth pillow, but I think I'm going to take this off, which I love. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm loving this, so taking it off is like, huh? Now, sometimes, that's what it's sticking is. Let me wipe that. Sometimes you, I'll just do nothing on the coffee table because the coffee table itself is pretty. I got this from my, when I had a virtual housewarming party, and y'all was all there for me so yeah so let me see if i could put this somewhere all right santa we gotta figure out where you gonna go this year okay where is you going santa we don't know i'm gonna switch santa up all righty okay so we're hey so we're gonna hook up this table let's see how we're gonna do it let's see what we're gonna do and how we gonna do it, okay? So I think, let's see, yeah, there you go. All right, so what I was saying is how you could play with stuff you already got. Now there's a couple of things. If I wanted to go a little dark, cause you know it's winter, although today's nice warm day, <laughs> I could actually take this, another piece of mud cloth and kind of a winterize, I call it winterizing the table. So it brings in that warmth. It's still kind of, it goes because now, you gotta see me yet. So now it actually picks up a little bit. It plays off the one over there. I mean, you could go a lot of places with this. So let me just see. Yeah, it's pretty even on both sides, right? Now this one, I need to wash it. So this is a great opportunity for me to wash it. But actually, let me show you what I'm gonna actually, with another thing I wanna do with this. And I'm going to show you. So let's actually get the table together. So I could change the placemats, but I actually don't have any placemats anymore because I kind of gave them away. So, um, <laughs> which is fine. But I want this. But on my coffee table, my coffee table, I treat it like a display table, by the way. 
I treat it like a display table. That's what it is for me. There's times though when I have, let's say I have my guests over, my best friend, well, my girl Danae or Goddess, which I'm gonna set up something nice for Goddess because she's coming tomorrow to do a class. She's the guest of my class, my virtual class. Then I will make this beautiful and I will set this up like a table, a lunch for two. And then I would pull those two Indian chairs in the corner. I can like pull those here and here. So you can have like a very intimate time. But right now, what we wanna do is start putting stuff back that we want. We can switch stuff up to it depends on the theme. So before I had the two Palenque girls, and you know, I love them on the table, but I had them on the other side. So to switch things up, just putting them on this side. But if I wanted to go a whole nother route, I could actually take the Palenque girls off this time and I could actually put the boy and girl on if I wanted that thing. Or I could take the boy and girl off and I could actually put grandma and grandpa. So I think if you're not into like collecting these kind of figurines and these, look at them, they dope. And the rocking chairs really rock. I got this from Africa land. You know, it depends like what I want, what I'm feeling like, cause I believe all of these, I believe that all of these are ancestors. So it's just like who, how you want to, who you want to put up front. You want your mother, you want the grandma, you want the kids, you want the palenque. So I'm so feeling the palenque, although they are amazing. And I'll show you my display because I do have a display. Hold on, ladies. Let me just put them back respectfully. I do have a display shelving. Shelving. But I really like these girls. Y'all know I love them. I told you they're like my favorite pieces in the house. So I'm going to take the girl, the, the two girls, and I'm going to put these two back. And I'm also going to take the gift that my sister gave me, which are the two figurines from Cuba and I'm going to put them on. So all I did was switch sides and I moved the placemats more to the back. Now before I had this because I'm loving on the pot, the aloe pot. For now I'm going to put it there but I got another idea and I already could see it happening so now I need to move some stuff down because I just thought of what else I want to do. So let's put this here because I need the clock back. The Senegal clock made of brass and copper. I want that to be the centerpiece. So I want that to be the centerpiece. This is simple. This is actually beautiful within itself, but of course I want to add stuff. So this is my sweet grass basket. The sweet grass, this one particular one comes from the Gullah Geechee people or the saltwater Geechees of uh, Georgia. So this is from Sopolo Island. So I thought the, I had some cotton that I bought some, from years ago from the Raleigh flea market and I just thought the sweet grass, the cotton. See, this is why the grandmother and the grandfather, I think this would be a good thing for them. And you know what? I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to switch up my Cuban ladies, not necessarily switch them up, but maybe put them on either side here. So I still get my color and then I'll still be able to add the old, the old lady and the old man. And then I still have, I still get to have that. And then I want to put that with them. Because I feel like they the southerners and the cotton and the whole bit. Then I'm going to just move these ladies right here. And as this is yellow, let's change that up and that. Similar colors too, actually, the color, because that's the whole idea of the Caribbean. So Africa, in a sense, uh, South America, and the different diasporic experiences. That's what I'm going for, the, the black American experience. Well, this is all the Americas, whether we're in Cuba, whether we're in Colombia, whether we're in the United States. So I want to represent all of that. And I, I, and I really love this. I feel like it just gives it a more rooted is the word that I like to use, right? So something that I do because I also sit, and y'all can see me because I saw that, I also sit here, right? You can see me, yes. Okay, I also sit here. So what I like to do is also set up a scene 
for me when I sit here as well. Because I probably, I'm going to move that up just a tad. I probably sit here more, so we're going to put the mask up, than I do on the couch. I usually leave the couch. Now, what I want to be careful with, and I'm thinking about that, is we're not going to put this behind them. Because if this falls and it falls on them, that's over. If this falls and it falls on them, it, it's, it should be okay. And I don't think it's going to fall, never does. And enjoy the beautiful doll she gave me. We're going to put that there. So now everything has like it's a little spotlight. So what I want to do is now I want to leave room for some, uh, something else. So hold on and let me show y'all. There's some tea I made earlier, but I didn't drink it. And so I'm going to take my Diva cup. I got this from the Raleigh Cultural Festival. That's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take my Diva cup and I'm going to put it on the table just because it's pretty. But wait, I got something else. Just thought about it. And I'm about to make some raw brownies. So this is actually the plate that goes with the cup. Beautiful set. So I'm going to, uh, I would eat from the rice. So I'm going to, but oh, on well, that Swah modern, Swahili modern, Swahili modern, I bought this plate, like another wooden plate to eat with. Yeah, I, I, I could have spent a whole bunch of money there. And here we have, and I'll show you, because I'm going to have my brownie, I'm going to have my tea here, and we have some height going there. We still got something to look at when we're on this side. Now, let's go over here. So, oh wait, we gotta do the we gotta do the couch because all I want to do here. So let me tell you about this. And I think yeah, let's move you just a tad. It's working better than I thought it is. Twenty two people, seven thumbs up. If you're feeling this, if you like these kind of videos, thumbs us up, okay? So over here, so this futon, I just want to kind of, you know, clean it up a bit. It's got here. So, so as y'all know, <laughs> this is a chaise as well, a chaise here. And so, you know, you can lay down, you know, you can do your little thing. The, the, the two sides go down all the way so you can actually, like, go to sleep. It's so relaxing. So, something I've never done before is I actually, I never covered this. Well, maybe I did once. So let's do that now because let me tell you what I have now. And I, when I say I love this, I love this. This quilt was made by a YouTuber, Linda G. Loving Home. Linda, Linda, Linda G. Loving Home. She actually put her Linda G. Loving Home 2018. She made this for me. It's beautiful. Now, I love it like this, but sitting on it, that's gorgeous, right? Just what? Ain't nothing else to do. Fits perfectly, but sitting on it basically is ruining it. That's the only reason why I turned it on the orange side, because the orange also picks up the picture up there. But right now, we're going to give it a break. We're going to give it a break. Uh, I love it, though. I mean, like, it might go right back. We don't know. And even though, now let me tell you about this. This is actually a tablecloth, but it's a round one. Do you know how hard it was to find this? I got this on eBay. It's hand painted. I got it off eBay. And uh, now I don't even have a round table, but that's okay. So I'm going to put those back. So I'm thinking we're going to put that on there, but we'll see. I don't know. Because I'm, you know what would be better? I'm not going to put the round one because I already got a place for that. Let me tell you what would be better that we're going to do. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to warm this place up totally. And you know my living room. I'm always talking about how it needs to be warmed up. So this is what we're going to do because, you know, we got a lot of stuff. We got these ladies. Another piece of cloth. I got this at the Ashby Flea Market. Ashby Flea Market. So we're going to take them 
And we're gonna let, now see, this is a little more difficult because these pillows are not really the pillows for this. So you know what I'm gonna do. You know exactly what I'm gonna do. And I did this before, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna use it the same way we did that. We're gonna put this on. So now we got a little nice pattern. Now the thing with this, and I already know that, is that you gotta kind of fold the ends because it's a little long. So we'll fold the other side as well. Okay. So we can fit it on. We can play with it on either side. Stuff it. Stuff it. Give us a little more on this side. When you got pieces, I always say everything goes when you get your Afrocentric because most pieces, because most likely you're picking out similar things, which means it falls into similar colors. So it really is works. So you really can't go wrong. You just want to get it in there so it can stay. And then we can just put these back and then we could definitely tuck it under. So now it's like the theme is kind of picking up throughout the house. It's the kind of brown, the warmth that I really like. Now, of course, uh, let me, I'm trying to think if I have any pillowcases that I just have on hand because I could, and that's what I would do. And you know what? Let me just think. I actually do. I got two pillowcases that I think will look so dope on here. But I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I have some pillowcases that I think will look dope and I can cover these four pillows, but I'll come back with the after for that because I got to go look for them. And I think they're in a suitcase and we can actually cover these, but I'll show you the pillowcases. Let me show you, I'll be right back. So it would be the, this pattern, but I'm actually using these pillows. But you can see how that and that there would be cute. So that's very nice. Or if I covered them with that, or, or we could just leave that, and we could actually put them here too, which is really nice. So now you got like a whole nother scene. Very pretty, works with the rest of the house. Like, I actually love that. But I think I have two different, slightly different, but similar. Oh, hell yeah. Should I go get them? Yes, hold on. I only have one, but you get the picture. Very, very beautiful. I really like that. Let me stand back. That is nice. See, that? That's I like that a lot. I like that a lot. You can also put them on the side if you don't want them on the back. But I actually am going to look for, like I found all those, those pillowcases. I'm going to look for some more Afrocentric pillowcases just for this couch. Okay, so now... Let's go over to here. So hold on, ladies. All right. We're going to put y'all right here near the couch. And we're going to move this. And we're going to move them. And we're going to put y'all on the couch, near the couch. Okay. So the couch. Let's move our girls. And I think y'all can see the couch. Okay, let's move everybody because we can move them back because I need y'all to see this couch. All right, there we go. So this is my music. So my music must stay somewhere around or, you know. All right, this is my daughter. Okay, so now what I want to do, 
these books are beautiful. I could have easily put these books. This is one that's called Swahili Chic. Speaking of Swahili, I could have easily put these books, but I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put the books instead. Okay, so we're gonna do something with these books, and I'm gonna show you. We got this one, Fashion Africa, great book. And of course, we got the Justina Blakeney's book, The Bohemians. This is the handbook. And this is the first one she did was the New Bohemian, New Bohemians, or maybe vice versa. Don't really remember. Okay, let's get to this couch. So, my bracelets. So let's take off this. Because you can do a couple of things here. Now, I'm loving that we kind of got the mud cloth. Well, not kind of. We have mud cloth on here. We have mud cloth on the table. We have mud cloth over there. So I'm changing the dynamics. So I think that the flower ones, I don't know. I'm going to see what I'm going to do. But this is what I'm, I'm really feeling. So I got to try it. We can do a couple of things. If we want to bring in back that kind of color, we could actually... Put the put this here, and I would I actually I'm gonna take the mud cloth off because that's what we should do, and we can put this here, or we can put that red and one. I used to put that red and green one on too. So, and I'll show you what we can do because I use the mud cloths as throws as well. So we could depending on where we're going. Sometimes I like to pull in the bright colors. So I, I could do that here. You can use your quilt. And a quilt has the green in it in the wall. You can use your quilt just like that and tuck it in. And then you got a little seam there if you want to. Of course, you can tuck it, right? If that's just too, like, it just looks like it's too much going on and it's not enough to support it, this is another thing we could do. I used to do this. I used to take this one, because this gives it that more boho feel. I used to take this one when I didn't have this couch cover, and I would put it on. So it gives it that nice boho feel, which I really love. And that's what we're going to do. There you go. It's boho. <laughs> Pull this couch out of yeah, you, okay. Get that in there. And we'll turn on some lights. Get that warmth going. I gotta get my L, I gotta get some batteries for my candles. I got some batteries actually. Get some candles, but I would I oh I kind of forgot. What I really want is uh is some sconces. I want to get some sconces for the um bathroom. So, let me put Santa away. We are not going to be losing our stuff here. And our old people there, too. So, let's see. So, I want to get it where when you sit on it, it won't come off. That's all I'm doing. Sit on it, it won't come off. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we want to tuck, and we want to tuck a little more. And now we got our little boho scene, which I like a lot, because you know that's a vibe, and we all about the vibe. So we just boho it out there, and I really love it. Love this, nice boho -ed. Are you feeling it? Because I'm feeling it. Now... The, the, since we boho-ing, boho-ing, <laughs> boho-ing, all right, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this one back. I, I like this. I like that. I feel like it works with the boho. And the other one is working with the boho because we got to put up some flowers. We can do that. Now, let me tell you, yeah, I love it. Let me tell you what I would do. With the mud cloth, let me, let's go back. I think the mud cloth would look great. I like you over here, it was a great scene, it was easy, it worked perfectly. 
we working this little tripod, huh? And y'all got it. Oh, yeah, you can see a view. Okay. You could also, if I, if I, again, we could, if we really want it cozy, we could just put the mud cloth and the mud cloth here and the mud cloth here. And now we got a cozy little scene. Y'all can't see it, but I'll show y'all. Going on there. So we could mud cloth. As a matter of fact, I'm about to, that's cozy. We're going to definitely keep that cozy. And we got our mud cloth. And we got me. And we got, welcome to my channel. <laughs> welcome to my channel. So now I look majestic. You got a little armrest. It's winterized. It's bohold. I love it. So, let's get this back. Let's put her back. Let's get my girls back. Get my girls back. My ladies, they were here. They were here. Oh, and I just thought about it. I don't think I had. So, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Because I don't think I had anything right here. So, now we got something. There we go. I'm going to show you all it done. Uh, we can put this more here. So they have them there. Now this is where your books can actually do something too. You could actually have your books, you know, not maybe so straight. Play on them a little bit. You can have your books kind of like that. So now that's a lovely table. Let me show you the table. We are, that's a lovely table. So now I can sit, have my tea, read my books, enjoy my life, okay? Now, let's, what we're going to do is, of course, this, now the quilt can actually be just that. It could be a quilt. It could be a quilt for when you get cold. But what I like to put my quilts is I got a space for my quilts, and they go right here. And also, this is the other one and this one i'm actually going to keep out and just kind of put it right here so i have that and i'll show you that and then this is the other maya wallace actually gave this to me as a gift absolutely beautiful throw just a gorgeous throw this is the inside this is the outside I use this, and I'll show you where I keep my throws so that people, that my sister and I, my daughter, we used our throws. It was wonderful, so. And now, you know, you get that new feel. Get that new feel, put your throws over here. So I'm gonna show you the finished results. And I didn't go get anything from another room. Okay, I got some pillows, that's a lot. Okay, got the line, line about the pillows, okay. But let's do Santa back there. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to tell you what I was going to do. What I was going to do with the books. So let me show y'all. That's right. I got to show you that. Santa, I am so sorry. Like, you have to move. Santa, Santa. Okay, that's it. This is what we're going to do. We're going to unplug this. Unplug this. I got this from Walmart last November. Not even a year ago. Not the November that just passed. And it worked out perfectly for me. So, what we're going to do with the books, and I'll show y'all, is we're going to take the hobo bows, because these are really not doing... Oh, y'all don't see me. Oh, y'all do see me, but let me do better. Let me do better. And let's get this out, because you're just messing up the whole beauty of the decor, isn't it? Okay. Now, these don't really do anything for me. No, I mean, I love these. And I went back to try them. Let me say, yeah. To try them, uh, to, to take them back, because they still got the tags. But the ones that I wanted to trade them for, they didn't even have, so... I'm keep them. So what you can do with your books is you could actually, I use them to stack the books. And I find when I do this, people actually come and look at them. So I'm going to show you because then we're going to burn some incense. Okay, forgot my coffee table. 
or my table. This is the table or whoever sits here has access. Can you see that? Yes. To this table with the beautiful books. So they can look at the books, do their thing. And then I'm going to show you the finished results. But hold on. <laughs> finished results. I'm still feeling something. Still feeling something. Something is coming for me. Yeah, we're going to just kind of do that. All right. So let me show y'all. Then I'll sit and talk with y'all for a while. All right. Was that fun? I hope that was fun. 38 people, 13 thumbs up. A girl's working here. Okay. So, so uh, I will put, so let me just tell you, let's just kind of go around when we first walk into the room, you know, that situation, what you're seeing and all that good stuff. So let's plug this thing. I mean, y'all don't really need to like because we got natural light going on, but still. Okay. So when we initially came in, we had that, which is the, which is a uh, mud cloth that I got from African land and I did that in Durham. So we had that across the top of the couch instead. And we had that, which is a tablecloth, which is a round tablecloth on this table. What I did was I took that from the top and just kind of kept it there. We can use it as a throw or it's just visually beautiful. So it could actually just stay there. I wanted to boho this look a little bit, so I took the boho, I call it boho style tablecloth, put it on the back, and then left the flowers. Remember, those flower, those, those pillows I got from World Market, uh, and the World Market pillows actually have lilies, just like, and actually she well, doesn't have lilies, but she has the flowers. So we're picking up flowers, we got that vibe, remember that black, and so the pillows really are the same colors as the picture. And then that, and then let's just look at it from a whole, a whole view. So this is that scene, right? So then I decided that I'm feeling the warming of the house for the winter. So I wanted to do a new coffee table. And I love it, actually. I wanted mom and, uh, you know, grandma, grandpa, the elders and the cotton and the sweet grass that I got on my travels from S to Sapelo Island. My sister gave me the two figurines from Cuba. I got these from Cartagena, Colombia, the, the pala, palenqueras. And then I bought this at the Raleigh Cultural Festival. I ordered the two books, which is from Justina Blakeney, which is just a wonderful designer. And this actually is my, it was, it was Sleepy Artist's uh, Tibetan bowl, but we're gonna actually use that. I don't use it to use it as a Tibetan bowl. I use it to burn char charcoal and incense, right? So loving this. Let's check. And then of course, I got this from my sister's house when I went to the winter solstice. Oh, that winter solstice celebration was off the chain. So let's check out the coffee table. Very pretty. Now we kind of, Pillarized. <laughs> we definitely pillowized. And I think I want it this way. We definitely pillowized this, but we made it a lot more cozy. This is way warmer. Like I said, this room has some sometimes heating issues, but now we're cool because we got a heater from Amazon. So we took the little table, uh, the little, I'm sorry, the little chaise lounge slash futons, a lot of things. And we put the other, so we got mud cloth. We got the mud cloth, and we took the other mud cloth with the ladies and the decoration. We took the pillows from the other thing, which the pillows has got to go. So in actuality, we shouldn't really look at this because they actually have another place that they're utilizing. But since we really don't have a place for this mud cloth, now we do. <laughs> now we do. So we got the mud cloth, lovely. That dark just grounded everything. Lovely. Now I got two more mud cloth pillows, but they are upstairs being utilized. So we grounded that, gave it that niceness. We could switch it around. We could take the two white ones and we could actually put them in the back and have the two mud cloths on the side. So I'm just saying, you, every day you get bored, do something different. And then this is my table. This is where I like, I like to set up my, when I do videos in here, my computer, but I love to look at these. So I got my other picture books 
laid out the Gullawan, the Black Ladies, the Book of Photography, and of course these two pillows. But I want y'all to all see the theme, how everything I have goes. It goes together. I use these little stands to hold books, and I got actually some more books that I could actually put there. That's probably, let me see, being hidden down there. But another one, like my family pictures, let me show y'all, which I gotta get frames for. I love these, and they're not doing anything down there, and people might actually want to see them, so I can take the family picture photo and put it right there. So when people come, they can sit here. So this is the amazing heater from Amazon. This little heater, and it's cute, and it's cute. I love it. That's just my jacket, which we're going to take out, okay? Wonderful heater. What is... This thing is not inside where it's supposed to be. Sorry, I gotta fix this. Cause it's like lopsided or something. But love those, love it. Corners looking already good. Now, you, you see that's another, I ordered this tablecloth, slightly different, same roundness, same boho, but green. I take, I'll take this off and also I'll put that on the table. Or I'll take it off and I'll do another boho scene as well. So let's talk a little bit about how to display. So let me tell you, you see that chair right there is all naked? That's where I got them pillows from, okay? <laughs> so let me show you um, what I want to say. Let me show you another way to display your figurines and things of that nature. This right here helps to display your figurines. So now Santa and Santa and the little girl they could actually go in the back because I'm utilizing the other space. And I know Christmas is over, but I don't look at them as just for Christmas. They're really works of art. And I got them both on eBay and with somebody else's collection. And so now you got your little display. You know, you might want to move him over so you can see them a little better. And then, you know... The divine mate thing. We talk about that. Okay. And then this is my mom. You'll know that. So I got these two beautiful statues that was given to me by Aliana Gomez. And sometimes, you know, put your statues to the side. They don't always have to be straight out looking. And this is where I keep all my incense and whatnot. So we're going to actually use that. And this right here, we're going to set this up. This is how I burn incense so let me show you how i do that keeps it safe I, I can do it on the table i can do it on the floor uh something i'm doing is not correct so hold on and let's get it right let's get it right all right so we want to get this right right that's right okay so there that is there that is and then we're gonna burn some incense, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, and then here is more beautiful, more books. Like, that's why sometimes I take the books from here so people can actually look at them. These are the African design books. These books are spectacular. And you know what? I really need to take these out. So let's do it. We're going to put the Kanara. See, I don't just keep my Kanara up just for Kwanzaa. And we're going to take these books because I actually want to look at these books. So let's put y'all up again. Make life easier. Okay. I actually really want to look at these books. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Bohemian books. And I'm going to put them here. So, okay, I'm going to put them there. And I'm actually going to put this back. It's kind of delicate. And I'm gonna actually put the African style down to the detail. Look at that, the mud cloth couch. How cool is that? I wanna get some ideas for the bathroom. And then his African accents. This one shows you actually how to make stuff. And I wanna get some ideas for the bathroom. And this is the Spirit of African Design. These are amazing books. So I know that I wanna drink whatever I drink, my tea and I want to use these, so that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll put them like that. So, cause I know that that's what I wanna work on. So let me show you how beautiful, cause your books are also decoration as well. 
Doesn't that look just so pretty? And now you got that, that pot in the background. I just think that is so stunning. Like I love, I am in love with this table. Like you should be in love with your own ish, okay? If you ain't in love with your own ish, there's a problem. Okay, so now I got more room to display. So I think I love that dang bottle with all my heart. My girl made it from Trinidad, my Ariana. So it's kind of looking, but I don't know if we can get it in there. No, it's kind of looking like it's lost in this corner. Now, if I was really feeling fancy, we could have actually put the bottle there. And that bottle is just lovely. It picks up this whole scene. We could make that part of the scene as well. So we could make that like really part of the scene and, you know, bring it all home. And then she got her thing going over there. Now we got a scene. We got a little scene and you just tilt that to the side, move that a little over, but we have a scene there. Or we could just push it back because I love it so much. I actually like to see it. So there we go. Okay. Got a little scene, got a little bottle, got a little decoration. We can do a lot with that. We could actually take the bottle, put it there, but then we kind of obstruct the, the, the clock. We could also take the clock and turn the clock around so that the clock, because the it was actually a scene for here. So let's do that. So you see how this is endless. So I want to take the clock, I want to put it this way. Okay, I want, and I got to glue this because I got to definitely glue that. Yes, love that. Love that. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, I love that. So the, we still get the design. We got the pot that covers the part that you really, not that nice to look at right now. And that bottle could be pulled in anywhere now. We can pull the bottle more out and probably put it more over there because we do have space and it help us to cover Yes, yes. And we can actually put the two ladies together. So anywho, <laughs> y'all see how this is coming along, okay? So 35 people, 18 thumbs up. If you're feeling it more than that, you want to see more videos like this where I create stuff right in front of you, let me know. And y'all, y'all know that space is going to be filled with something absolutely delicious. <laughs> now it's going to be very beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, besides relax, because it's so cold, quaint up in here, got my little cup, I'm about to make my brownies, it's just going to be so good. Okay, what we're going to do now is... And that's my Sankofa that the ex made for me. So I think I should keep that. So let me show you. We got to do something because, see, I don't like, I don't like empty spaces. Uh, you're probably going to tell. I'm a maximalist through and through, okay? Just so you know. So let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take her. I feel like I just bought a doll. Didn't I just buy a doll? I feel like I just bought a doll. Like, didn't I buy a doll? No, I guess I didn't. I feel like a doll must be coming into my life. So that's up there, that cute doll, and then she's down there. See, now I feel so much better. I feel so much better. I feel so much better. All right, so now we're going to light the candle. I mean, light the incense. Okay, here we go. So here's, so we're gonna get our incense. Please let me have the lighter in here. Let me have did that. Yes. Okay. So this is what we're working with. So my yeah. So we're gonna take the charcoal and we're gonna light the charcoal. And you'll hear it start crackling and popping, but it's not ready yet. Now it is. You see how it's going? Y'all see it? Yeah. So we're going to let that sit. And when it turns white, we're going to put some incense. So I got a variety. This is the Chirai in here. Now I also have, a, I have this variety pack that I bought from the African shop, the African land. So we're probably going to put that on. But I also have some, where is my cheer eye, my wet cheer eye 
I cannot, you know what? I think it's upstairs. I think my chair is upstairs. We're gonna actually put this on. So put that back so I won't forget it. And the Zara box goes with the Kanara. And we'll just wait for that to happen. All righty. Now I can talk to y'all. Woo! I'm sweating, y'all. Oh, it feels so, like, different, huh? Different vibe. You see the vibe? So you just switched up the vibe. You switched up the vibe in your home. Has a whole different feel. You got this behind you. Particularly for people that do videos and stuff. Like, you want to have different scenes. Because I get bored with the same scene as well. So I am absolutely loving the vibe. Let me talk to y'all. See how y'all doing. Ooh, I look a little messy today. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's see. Hey, Lakeisha. Hey, Virginia. Hey, Port of Beauty. Leper, Sheila. Hey, hey, Maya. Journey. Hey, Ola. Yes, hello, Lisa Marie. Hey, Shauna. M. Love. Hey, Queen. Hey, Chat Sisters. Yes, I'm actually sweating here. Hey, Shanika. Shanika. Ha, peace and blessings, Sister Lisa. I finally found what the description box is. Okay, I know now where it's located. Salam, Sister. I'm so glad. Peace to you. Hey, girl. Hey, Virginia. Looks very comfortable. Yes, it's Maya. Thank you. I'm looking forward to decorate our new home. Yes, honey. I know I know the manifestation is, is here. Maya says that quilt is really pretty. Isn't it pretty? Lisa Marie, love your quilt. Tablecloth and throw. It's great how... All Afrocentric decor items just seem to accent one another. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, isn't it? Hey, Omanike. Hey, ladies and gents. Hey, I went to Ross desperately trying to find those colorful stools. Oh, Virginia, I know. I hope they have it again. So my, my tip for Ross is if you see it, buy it as soon as you see it. Salam Queen. Hey, hey, uh, Unity Art Pieces. I like that boho couch. Thank you. Omanika says, nice. Thank you. Bonita decoration thank you pretty decorations thank you mr valdez hola journey but oh hola journey mr Hazel said hi to you josie says sister sister i'm just loving these footstools on the side your couch everybody loves them they're amazing yes and footstools i sit on them so i don't use them as footstools i use them to sit because usually in indigenous cultures that's how low they sit but I guess it could be used as footstools as well. Hey, Tia. Hey, sis. Glad to catch this video because I needed something to shift my energy after seeing the heavy, oh, heavy movie. Okay, good. Okay. Candace says, no minimalist here. No way, Jose. Cynthia says, greetings. Greetings to you, Cynthia. Janae says, hola, Jesus. Yes, no way. No, 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 no. I am a maximalist and I say it with pride. I stopped playing that game where I thought that I was going to be a minimalist because I did. It's funny how I used to blame, blame, blame my ex and say, you got too much ish up in this house. And in actuality, I loved it. Like, I am necessarily maybe loved that way, but I am a maximalist. Like I just told you, an empty shelf, something wrong, something wrong. And, and I always say what I love about my decor is that it represents me. It, I mean, I'm kind of dressed a little plainly today because I really was cleaning but it it is all me. I, I wear I like I wear the same colors. Like I wear the same colors as my home. And I I love it. I absolutely love it. So this is my beautiful space. I feel new. When I clean up, I usually switch up. So when I clean up, I switch up. Right now I'm gonna put my essential oil, uh vaporizer, I'll call that thing everything but what it is. Diffuser. I'm gonna I really wanna make this raw uh I want to make a salad and I want to make this raw brownie so I could seriously sit down and look at these books and get some ideas for the bathroom. I'm going for a blue and white theme in the bathroom as well. Uh, I ordered some beautiful items from Swahili Modern and I also ordered some very wonderful pictures off of Amazon for the there. And I'm going to let that once those come in, then I'll see what else that the bathroom needs. I don't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff yet before I got the pieces that I don't even know what they're going to look like in there. I want to see it, and that'll tell me, because I know I'm going to change the rugs out in there, because the rugs, will, it's not matching, but I'm going to keep the rugs. I'm going to keep the rugs. I'm just not going to put them there. I'm going to layer the rugs. I'll show you the rugs. I'm going to layer the rugs on the deck and just use and have like kind of multicolor rugs. So, but that's what I'm going to do. So that's the shindy rug and that's the other rug 
that I ordered. So I'm going to keep those, like I said, but I'm going to put them on the deck and it's going to be very pretty. I'm really going to layer them in a nice way. This trash can, which is very pretty. I'm actually going to probably put it in the front room, but I need new trash cans now. Because, you know, hey, you know how it is. New dress, new shoes, right? So this is my new dress. Now we need some new shoes. That, that actually goes with that set. And then this goes with that set. So boho. But I'm not going to get rid of it, but it's not going to go in here because I got another something going on here. Uh, but I'm not going to get rid of them. I just want you to know. So, but we're going to get new carpet, new rug. I'm going to get something that kind of almost fits the whole floor. But it's got to be, oh, it's got to be right. Like, I'm not going to rush. I One thing I rush on too much is the carpets. I, I, I need to take my time. So, like I said... It's going to be a new attitude up in here. I want some sconces. I, I looked up Afrocentric sconces, and mostly they have... I, I want some Andinkra sconces as well, but or, but I see a lot of elephant sconces, and that's okay. I don't have a problem with it, and I might actually get some, but and that's my prime that just came in. This room, for sure, for sure, is going to be... This room, for sure, for sure, is going to be my... Uh, it's gonna be my production room. This is where I did my two classes today. It's perfect. And those two pillows, they came from here. So let me show y'all and cut off some of these lights because it's daytime and ain't nobody trying to pay all these dang bills. And look, that's white now. Let's put that incense on. Let's put the incense on. Because if we don't, if we wait too long, we waste, we waste the incense. And believe me, I've wasted some incense, okay? So we're gonna take it. I'm just going to drop them on, and hopefully we get some smoke going. Was coming. And there you go. Smells delicious. Smells amazing. Yes, that's the vibe right there. That's the vibe. Then we're going to cut this off. Got to get the vibe going. And we're going to get these pillows back. Take these back because they were in that chair. So we're going to do... It's warm. It's warm today. It's humid today. It's nice. I haven't been outside because I've been happy inside. What? New attitude. All right. And I got to hang this up and I will. But this is going to be my studio. It's going to be beautiful. Imagine my velvet couch I keep telling y'all about. Then I'm going to have a dope table so that I could do my videos on. That's going to be level to the velvet couch that y'all just can't see, but I see it. I don't know why y'all don't see it, but it's here. Just don't really see it, but it's there. So it's going to be my velvet couch. I'm going to have two Afrocentric end tables on both of the couches. I'm going to have, like I said, a table for, it's going to be around, it's going to be like an oval shaped wooden table I saw some years ago. So oval wooden table shape. It's going to be kind of low. Then I'm going to have my uh, ring lights, tall ones there and there because it's still the studio. And yeah, it's going to be beautiful. And I'm just, yeah, it's going to be very simple. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to truly be the beautiful blue room. And I'm going to get more of these kind of plants on so that can be a little jungle low because these are plants that don't die because if it would have died, I would have killed it. So, and then this Janae was making a comment on it. This is where I keep the shoes. So when people come in and I myself, I put my shoes. I kept that basket for the shoes. This is my Amazon Prime. I got some more Primes coming tomorrow because it's like that. And that's the paint that I'm taking back to the store. So right now, I'm so happy. I can put the, uh, I can put the heater in here and I'm just going to be my classroom work. I needed a difference between work and home. I, I needed, I, I couldn't, my living room, it was turned into the office. It was not making me feel happy. I was feeling anxiety, as people say. And this is my little thing. This now wasn't, remember this was broken. Now it's fixed. So now my water jar can go on top. Like, it's the little things. It's the little things. So, yeah. So that's it. Welcome to my home. Thank you for being a part. Look at all my smoke we got going there. That's what you want. And the Pretty kitchen. My kitchen is, I'm in love with my kitchen. It's quaint, it's little, and it's wonderful. And my trash can, one of you asked me about it one time. It is a, it is a, uh, it is a hamper. It's a hamper. And uh, I use it as a trash can, which works. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. On Swahili, on Swahili Modern, that website, 
I have to fix this one. I have two hands. Let me do it now. On Swahili Modern, right, they have also hooks. I need a hook for my bathroom and I, to hold my, like, robe. And also, I'm going to get a nice hook. I'll rearrange this a little bit. A hook. They got, like, these elephant shapes and dinkra symbol shapes. Get the hook for these two sides so my, my beautiful aprons can hang up there and they'll be out of the way. I can always put the, the spoons on, the, on this side, which I'm gonna do. So I need the hooks and I'm so happy about the hooks. Like the hooks is, the hooks is making me so happy right now because now that little tackiness won't be so tacky because nobody needs to be tacky. And I'm gonna close this up. Uh, I was just getting air throughout the whole house airing the place out. And look at all that smoke. That's what you want. That's what you want right there. You wanna, you wanna vibe the house up. So, thank you ladies. I appreciate you all for coming into my home and allowing me. Let me go, so this is smoking so much. We're gonna put some uh, in the, uh, we're gonna put in the other room. Yep. So that's that. So, and look at that. Y'all get to still see pretty. See pretty when you just, when I leave the room, it's so pretty up in here. This is what, okay, about to choke. Okay. Um, yeah, this is what makes me happy. No, this is what makes me happy and content. And I love my home. And I hope you love yours too. So, ladies, we're going to wrap up. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, Sheila says, Lisa Marie, I was told that Ross will have markdowns on Mondays, Tuesdays in January. Worth checking out, ladies. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Lisa Marie, Google <laughs> blue and white efforts up the bathroom decor for I did definitely... And also that time, that book has a lot too, but yes, I definitely will. Where do you order your incense? I actually don't order them. I buy them from a, a local store called African Land. Yeah. Uh, what's the temperature in, in there, Lisa? The temperature, I think, tonight, today, I don't know. I don't know if we hit 70s. We might be in the low 70s. It's humid, and it's the humid in, the humidity in North Carolina be off the chain, even in the wintertime. Okay. Uh, hey, sis, the blue room looks nice. Thank you, uh, Zama. Cynthia says, your home is really pretty. Thank you so much. Right now, I done danced the bachata, so now I'm going to put on, I don't know what I'm in the mood for, something African. Since we're going to Ghana, we need to get some African music going. Actually, you know what? A friend sent me some Oshun music. Yes. I'm going to I'm gonna put on some Oshun music. Uh, the, the group Oshun and some Oshun music from the Orishas. And um, I'm going to look, look through these beautiful books. These books are stunning. You want to talk about ideas? No. Let me see. Hopefully, let me see if I picked the right one. I just want to show you. These are all great. Like, these are the most dopest books ever. But the one that I think that I'm looking for is this one. And it has a whole blue section. And let me just see. I don't know if it's this one, but this one has great ideas too. Yeah, the blues. So it says the blues. Let me just see. Hold on. And then I'll just show you that. So we got a couple of things going on. It's funny. It makes you wonder how much you looked at something and then you, you thought you picked out a color that was originally yours, but actually you saw it somewhere. Because that is very much, very inspired, I'm sure. This inspired my blue room. But just even looking at the other things, the browns and all the mud cloths and how they layer the bed. I mean, just how beautiful using that stand for, you know, for your computer the details are wonderful. The blues. So I remember another one. This, you know what? The other one has more blues. So let's look. Let's find the other one. The other one took it to another place. But they're all 
extremely beautiful. And I know I've showed many of you this before, but you want to talk about, this is when I was a kid. Yes, this is what I dreamt of. This is the home I wanted. When I grew up, I wanted this look. So you got the Afro Euro. I just really wanted this look. And now I have my own home. Well, I don't own it, but so, you know, it's my home. I live here. Even ways to display the Cooper cloth. I actually had this exact, well, similar piece. It wasn't mine, though, but it was kind of like mine. So color, pattern, textures. Look at the brightness. Like, yeah, you know, it makes you wonder, like, did you see these colors first? Look at the, you can bring in the leopard print. Look at the rug. Now, see, that's a dope rug. Everything stayed. Look at the dishes. This, I still want dishes like this. Like, I want these sets. I'm looking for these dishes. Don't you love this, those books? Aren't they wonderful? I mean, like, this is the bomb diggity. Look at the plates. This, see, I still want this. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, when I start, when I go to Ghana, I'm going to be looking for dishes. I have decided that that's what's up because I like Afro, because I want to really do a beautiful tablescape, and I want it to be so Afrocentric. And look at all the ways you could go. It's like my X-Style. See, a little bit of everything. I mean, because it all works. And it's whatever you like, whatever. You just, you just got to love it. And like I said, and own it. Like, I own that I'm a maximalist. I didn't always, and that's why it's important for me to own my maximalism. Because then it allows me to be free. So when I see stuff, it, it all kind of works. And it all goes. So, you know, we could go through this forever. But I just want to say, look at, look at, I mean, look at the elements. Look at, look at, that's a dope coffee table, which you know probably wasn't really. I mean, look at the dopeness of the, and the ideas. The ideas are endless. This is Afrocentric home decor. And I feel like my house definitely is my own. I feel like my living room could be up in one of these magazines. I'm not trying to brag. It ain't even a bragging right. I feel like I fit perfectly into this magazine, and I'm just waiting for somebody. I'll just create my own magazine. I don't have to wait for nobody to create the dang magazine. I'm going to create a magazine, too, because it's not hard to do. I know a sister that teaches you how to, us how to do it. I took a class for to how to do it, but I wasn't paying attention then. I'm sorry. I wasn't mature enough to enlist it. I was like, can I just pay you for that? And now that I, you know, I, I, yeah, money is abundantly abundant. and It's all around me. Okay, so look at the kitchen, like the shelving, like what? That even in the when it's in the rack, that the dishes are all beautiful. Like that's see, that see that's the stuff I pay attention to. Like I said, you see it, but do you see it? And then next thing you know, you be like, I want to paint my house. I want a green wall, and you done seen the green wall, but you didn't know you stole the green wall. You know. So yeah, I I just could look at this all day long, and sometimes you like I said, you're looking at it, but you don't you don't realize you're looking at it. So you don't realize you saw something. And then you'll just, you'll just you wake up and go have a dream. Be like, I had a dream. It was in the book, but it's okay. It was in your dream too. And you can then use it. And that's what I love. I love decor. I love African decor. It'd be a cold day in hell when you see me with an all-white house. I'm not going to say that because then next week I'll be like, it's all white, y'all, all white. But uh, I, I don't think, I think I would lose it. I, like, you know how some people go crazy in my house because it's too much to look at and it make their eyes be confused and hurt? I, that's how I would be in the all-white house. I'd be like, get me out of here. It would be like prison to me. And mine would be like a loony bin to some others. You see how different strokes for different folks, y'all. I'm just trying to tell you. Like, I know what I, my style, I know it's not for everybody. And I don't have no problem with it because it's for me. When I look in here, like, I feel relaxed. I feel relaxed in my space. Some people might feel like, oh, my God. Like, you know what? Nobody that ever came to my house, even, like, um, people like servicemen and all that, no, everybody was like, wow, you did this all by yourself. That's, the, that's what they asked. Did you do this all by yourself? That is the biggest question I get. Did you do it all by yourself? Like, yeah, I did it all by myself. Yes, yes. So that's that's always cute to me when people say that. It's like, yeah, like I can do stuff. Like, yeah. Cause I think it looks really, you know, really like spectacular to people. And the spectacular 
may not always be a, a compliment, but I think in my case it is. So, yes, yeah, here's the Thinker symbol. So this book here, it tells you how to make stuff, which is really cool. So I, I just look for ideas because I'm not really arts and crafty. Not that I would not want to be, but, you know, I recognize what my skills are, and I, I work with that. But we will be going to get us some kente cloth when I go to Ghana. Now, that's going to happen. Some original, not just the orange one, but look at that. Like, I love it. Let me tell you, the shield, she showed you how to make it. That's a poster. That's fabric on that board. Like, I remember because I looked at that. Gore, and she, this screen, she made that as well. And there you go. It's like I said. And there you go with the shield. Mud cloth shield. So for those of you that are really crafty, this book right here would be for you. Oh, thank you, Poetic Beauty. You're so sweet. I'm going to make sure I read all of, all of y'all's comments before I go. So, yeah. So she is into the making of it. So you don't... And a lot of y'all, Sheila, for, I know for sure you're crafty. So I love them all. And these were all gifted to me. Like she said, she was at a flea market. It was Maliki Grant. And she got them. This white one was selling them for 25 cents. Go online and you're not going to get these for 25 cents because everybody told me this already. It's like, oh, no, 25 cents? No. I went online, Lisa Marie. It's not 25 cents online. What happened? I was like, hey, it's play market. Look at that chair. That's beautiful. See, I get excited. And y'all see that you could just do more like of the muted colors. You don't have to go for color. You could have it more modern. You could have it more monochromatic. You know, you could like do you. Do you. Like that's a great, that's an absolutely amazing wall. I mean, just the, oh, Lord have mercy. So she shows you how to make things, too. This one as well. So just so you know. Excuse me. Just gorgeous. So, okay. So we are having fun. And, uh, you're, okay, but I will Google the homeroom situation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, your home is really pretty. Thank you, Cynthia Shepard. So Lisa Marie, I love those books, right? Uh, maybe add a section in your cookbook that contain your Afrocentric home decor, a thought. Love the thought. Thank you, darling. Oh, no, says DJ. All, not all white. I'm a queen of color. Yes, DJ. Poet says, your home is a beautiful extension of your spirit and creativity. Thank you. Lisa Marie, I need that book. OMG, I see ideas already. Yes, I'm, I'm going to find it for you, Sheila, because when I saw that book, I thought of you. You did that, sis. The whole place is vibrant. Thank you so much. So what a wonderful day. What a wonderful day. It's getting darker. I see that. So I'm going to get it cozy. I'm going to uh, spend time in the living room because now my business is in that room. And now I'm in this room. And that makes me very happy. Okay, thanks. It's not. Uh, that's right. She said it's so colorful and cheerful. Yes, it's, 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 it's <sighs> feels good, y'all. It feels good. All right. Love you, ladies. Thank you for spending this hour and so with me. Let me go get these brownies going so that I can have some super snacks. And um, mm, I'm thinking of other things that I can make. Something good. Have a beautiful day. If you like these kinds of videos, first like, share, subscribe. If you like these kinds of videos where I actually like do stuff with you live, Let's do it, because I like these. I, I would like, I decorate, decorate with me. Or redecorate with me, let a sister know, because I really do mean it. I love, I love doing this for you. It helps me in my own mind. It opens up my creativity, and it allows me to set my, I really, I didn't even know, starting with y'all, that what was going to happen. I was open. I said, I want to do a video where we just do stuff together. I, I was open to what what it was going to be. And I just got this idea right now. I'm going to go upstairs and rearrange some stuff. And maybe later I'll show you. Uh, I, not rearrange. I'll just see something that goes somewhere that is going to be fat right now. I'll come back and show y'all. Love you, ladies. See you in the next video. Peace and blessings.